Welcome back folks, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Sin. In the last episode I ex encountered a bug with traps, at least that's what I thought. Um, re remember when I tried to use this uh, this year and there was the strange, well, glitch. Actually it's this dark screen here that you can use. It doesn't do anything. But you can't move. But what you can do is you can press the up and down key. Do you hear this? Yeah, you are cycling through a menu and by pressing enter you can lift this lid. Yeah, and this sound that was the sound of the console closing. So it was actually not a bug or a problem with wraps, but it was a part of the game. This is just not being very ex much explained. Actually, it's not being explained at all. He seems to be free now, even though he's probably still getting killed by that um, devilish juice that he in inhaled. Or um, uh, yeah, used. Okay. And there was this room, which was kind of pointless, but it also has this dark console. Where again you can press up and down arrow and enter and then something yeah it does something it's not doing anything important i think it's just a scenery but there still was another thing which i missed namely this panel here which looks a bit brighter than the others and in the 90s if you played a shooter Anything that looked a bit out of the ordinary was a sign that there could be a secret. Yes. And who wants to bet that there are tons of rats in the here? Okay, there are three secrets. I've already found uh, one of them. If you can uh, if you remember in the beginning, there's some health which I don't need. But there's some ammunition which I do can... Actually I don't need to uh, use this am ammunition, but at least that okay, explains the significance of this area. Okay, so I've showed you, um, explained you this with a bug and the secret. Then there was this room which we left off last time where what well, I'm where I wasn't exactly sure what was the point of it um, actually this has no point at all and this well this um, floor panel or whatever it's called has only one purpose let me to drop you in there where you can see an eon which is part of the Eon and Peon, which we fought in one of the earlier levels. You can attack him and kill him. Damn. And you can get killed by the door. Yeah, for some reason, if you're too close to this door, you're getting crushed. Well, you can kill him, but um, there's no point really in going into the room because the only thing that you can that you get there is. Uh, is a magnum ground and a helmet. So there's no point in going there and also this is just where you drop down if you step from there. Yeah, and this panel you can engage and disengage the lamp. But uh, I have no idea so it does something probably not. Yeah, and the last secret, so there are three secrets to be found. Um, you can complete if you go uh, through here and then jump on one of those um, containers that are being moved around by this arm and jump, then use your adrenaline to jump back onto this tunnel. At least that's what I've read. Um, yeah, I will not try that out because it's 
probably the point is in any case. So let's leave now. Yeah, by the way, um, I have actually hurt myself just then. I've actually missed a complete level. I've missed several levels, in fact. Uh, and there's a rat, which I've killed now. I've missed several levels so far, um, because this game is serious when it says that actions in this game have, have an effect. So there are um, many levels where there are alternative exits, which lead you to secret levels or levels which you may not see otherwise. So in, in fact, I've missed a bunch of levels. So just for your information, if you, even though I've shown you a lot of this game, there's still more to be discovered. Okay, and we're moving on to the next part of the Xenomorphic Laboratory. Alexis Sinclair's dark vision of the world is a living reality here. Blade must force, forge, forge on through the madness that is Syntec. Yes, indeed. Okay, let's move on. And let's check our mission objectives. Okay, that seems pretty simple. It basically boils down to wandering, wandering around. Yeah, and another fact which I discovered while I was um, using the no clip sheet on the last xenomorphic lab laboratory part. It seems that this xenomorphic laboratory part Damn. one. What have they done? It's time to put them out of their misery, Blade. You know what to do. Yeah, um, it seems that they are, this level was not complete because I did find some part which you couldn't access through anywhere. So I think that they weren't even finished um, with this level. And there's something which looks like a new weapon on top of this uh, container. Let's see if I can get on there. I will kill this man eventually, but he may serve as a kind of ladder. Okay, I can, or can just maybe I can just use the door trick. Ah, ah. Okay. Is this a weapon or an inventory item? Let's see. It's probably an inventory item. Yeah, it, it, it already shows up as an inventory item on the other left. So let's press F11. Let's see what that is. U U4 mutagen injector. Okay, I can inject someone with U4 if I want to. Even though I'm not sure why I'd want to do that. Um, if you wonder what that sound in the background is, that is just me um, switching my lights on and off. Because it's, this game is pretty dark, so I have to switch it off in order to see what's going on here. But in order to see what is going on with my keyboard, I have to switch on the light. And there's a brain. At least that appears to be a brain. Okay, let's probe the brain. Uh, and I think it's alive. Let's do a lobotomy. Let's viscerate the brain. Okay, that, that was fun. Um, and there's an item hidden there. But I'm already full on ammo. Mission. And the guy has left. Probably should have killed him. Was du heute kannst besorgen, das verschiebe dich auf morgen. But I can still get him. 
There's no secret there. Nope. Okay. Moving on. Ooh, oh, 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 oh. Let's switch to a better weapon. Like, um, I have lots of rockets. I might use some of these. You know, probably should use the this gun because I have ammunition for it. I mean, there are flying around some. Hmm. Seems to be pretty effective, actually. Um, there's some ammunition lying around in the other room. And these guys take only three hits with this weapon. As opposed to lots of rockets. So that's good to know. There's a message board. Mimo, slaughterhouse is closed for time tripping. Don't feed the buff or die. Hearts and kidneys are tin her toys. Tinker toys. I'm talking about the central nervous system. Pronoun trouble. It's not sh it's not shoot him now. Okay, I don't understand these jokes. And it seems that the peon is you, uh, is winning that fight. Yeah, if you want to kill this peon creature with grenades, he takes about 20 or more of them, I think. I know, um, because I've tried that. Okay. Uh, is there something, there's something lying on top of that uh, locker. Ah. Come on. I hate you. Collision detection. Okay. Uh. Okay, what I... I didn't... I don't know what I picked up. Maybe let's check my... Inventory. I think what there was adrenaline. Yeah. Um. Oh wait. No, I think the. Yeah, I can uni only use the mutagen injector on myself. So if I want to turn myself into a horrible creature, that's what I'm going to use. Um. I mean. I still don't know why I would want to do that. Also, it's good to know that you can't hurt them when they are in their third animation. And there's a giant gaping hole. It just opened before me. You're not tricking me. Or maybe you are. Okay, quick save. Um, probably just ignore that large pit there. Do I want to go in there? Not sure. Not sure I do. But I will kill this. this. I don't want to go in there. No, seriously. Um, I don't think I want to go in there. This is sort of the same design as uh, the other. L ah, that's why I want to go then. Go in there, and that looks like a secret. Yes, it is indeed. So there are two secrets. Um, and before I will end this video, even though my time, I just. Uh, Sounded, I will pick up this weapon. And when we come back, folks, we'll be at this spot, probably. So, until next time, folks, until then.